Hey guys, Don Rice here, and there it is. Self-leveling pool of epoxy with seven layers of, not sure, but I'm saying it's six ounce cloth in there. That's layer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, can't you read that? And, <clears throat> and it looks pretty good. All right, well, let's see. Uh, Let's see how this looks when it's all kind of put together. Um, let's see. Hold on. Okay. We'll start by... Oh, let's see. So that's going to go in there like that. So I'm just going to center this up inside all with the gaps, you know, around this and because all this is kind of freehand, you know, with some intelligence added to the freehand, but some measuring, etc. Um, okay, so that sits in there like that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this will go. You get out of the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> the cow flaps are too long. Um, okay. We can do this. Yeah, that doesn't look dangerous at all. It's actually pretty stable. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, try the cow again here. Let's see. Okay, let's line up some of these holes. Okay, how's that look? That looks, I don't know, looks pretty tits, really. So, let's see. Take off the, uh, almost dropped that, Jesus. These, uh, this is the first engine I've ever had that has, uh, you know, six bolts holding the prop on, and... You know, I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> My Zenoa. Eighty, sixty-two. I've got three G sixty twos and two eighties. None of them's ever thrown a prop. Uh, can't imagine how many Zeno engines I've flown, um, flonging to other people, and never had a prop thrown. I know that the Evolution 260, 260 cc's, has like this single prop hub thing. Oh, how does that look? That doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Alright, hang on. Here is the big rock. 2612. Uh, almost goes on too. <laughs> So the shortest, ah, Jesus. All 
I would kind of like, kind of expect the smallest amount of prop clearance to be down and to the right, which would be right about here, um, because of the right thrust and left thrust. Right thrust and left thrust. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, right thrust and down thrust. And uh, I'm not entirely sure. Cal seems to be rusting. Cal doesn't seem to be 100% happy to be where it is. Not 100. Oh, okay. Riding on a lip a little bit. I'm going to have to dremel that out a little. Anywho, uh, so what do we got here? My ultimate goal is to have a clearance of about 3 eighths of an inch. And what I have is yeah. uh, right there, quarter of an inch. Uh, which kind of makes sense because of the thrust changes. So quarter of an inch there and uh, at the opposite side I've got about 450 thousandths. So there's about 200, that's perfect, it's exactly right. There's about 200 thousandths of um, angle. Angle of the dangle. Nice. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I rotate this around where the prop just sits like that. Yeah, I can see just a little bit less clearance on this side than this side, so good. All right, this all turned out pretty much exactly as I had hoped it would. I believe we'll put that on eventually, and that'll go like that. Oh, now. Now we're talking about something that's just dead sexy. Of course, we're going to have to get a dummy motor on there, hide everything. Got that sexy twin engine motor in there and twin cylinder motor. I'm going to have to hide it. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to call uh, firewall leveling done. And now it's time to start looking at the baffling aspect here. And uh, there are many things about this that are baffling. And once I get it all figured out uh, and get started, I'll, I'll be back. But until then, later.